Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jungle, the owner of the Dragon House MMA. Right next to me, we have Juan Gutierrez. Juan Gutierrez making his MMA debut on our next upcoming event, uh, Jungle Cage Fighting Series number nine, November 11th at the heart of San Francisco, Key Star Pavilion. Now, Juan, let's introduce you to all the MMA fight fans out there. Who you are, where you're coming from, born and raised. Yeah. Well. I was born and like raised in the city. I actually uh, grew up in like Bell Rock Bayview area as well. So you know, just you know. Just so you native? Uh, yeah. You can even call San Francisco. Yeah, exactly. Ah, that's pretty awesome. We meet another San Francisco born and raised, home grow. Yeah. You know. So now, how long have you been um, doing martial art? I've been uh, dipping, dipping my feet in, into it like since I was like a kid. I, I remember starting off uh, like doing karate. In my family, like sure. like. They like they always wanted me to learn to defend myself and everything because I always I always grew up as like the smaller guy, you know. So they always said you need to learn how to defend yourself and then put me in karate and just took off from there. Then in and out of it, doing like little boxing, little wrestling here and there. But not not nothing too crazy. That's pretty awesome. Now well, it's a long journey, you know. So um, what bouts are you on Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Uh, right now I'm currently a blue belt in Jiu Jitsu. Mm -hmm. And you from AB MMA? Yeah. So, the ABMA home gym. That's, that's the guys. That's the home gym right there, and then uh, they are located in San Bruno Avenue. Head uh, head coach is a junior um, silver, right? Yeah, he actually uh, yeah, he like made, he like made an angle, like he like left, he like moved somewhere else to start doing a, his, his own thing. Like best of luck to him and everything. I miss that guy. So, yeah, but yeah, junior played a lot into like my training, like while being at AB. And then right now, um, you, you know, uh, the Lima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is like been putting like a big part in like, and uh, me and like Jameson, like he's also fighting in the card as well. Mm -hmm. Like been a big part of like of like our whole like fight camp just to get us ready for our debuts. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Yeah. A little mix of everything. Excited. A little nervous. A little, a little nervous. I don't want to admit that, but too too, too 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 late, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, the th the reality is, you know, I've talked to a lot of time to time a lot of you know, veteran fighters, I think nervous is a good thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, you know, sometimes motivates you to get up to go train, go run. And you need that little nervous, a little scary. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even guys that have been for a long time, they still, they still going to have that feeling. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just a different level of the nerves. And, you know, now you finding a guy also making a debut at 135 pounds yeah. uh, from Chico. Uh, what's your opponent's name? I believe his name's uh, Gianni Bruzon. Yeah, so he's from uh, Br Bruno BJJ up in Chico area, which means pretty far from San Francisco. So yeah. now, um, what do you know about your opponent? Uh, any homework or anything? Not much. Uh, all I know is that he's like come from Bruno Lima, like the Jiu Jitsu Academy. So I, all I know, like from what I'm like seeing from like you know judging by a book by its cover, it's gonna be more like. He's a grappler, uh -huh. so we gotta work on, like, gotta work on that grappling. And he's also another blue belt. Um, I'm probably gonna see him next week sometime. We'll do another interview with him as well. And then uh, I never met the guy, so hopefully I get to know him too. You know, so and I always say that to all my interviews. So, you know, like I interview like guys that like you making MMA debut, and then years and years down the line, and this interview might become historical. Be you end up become a superstar in UFC, and I'll be like, hey, look. I was interviewed Juan, you know, when he was making MMA debut, he was sort of from my show. That's a pretty in interesting, you know. So now, what, do you have a job working? Yeah, right now I'm like currently like, like working two jobs at the moment. Damn. Yeah. You live in San Francisco. Yeah. Kind of, you know, you gotta, everyone's got to have two jobs, you know. Yeah. San Francisco, you know how that what do you, uh What do you do for work? Uh, I help out at the gym at AB. I help coach the, like, the kids and nice. I, like, I help coach the cardio conditioning classes. And uh, my other job is a security. Yeah. Uh, so I juggle those two things, trying to you know make it work. But you know, we gotta do what we gotta do, you know. What do you uh, see yourself like in fighting? You wanna make it as a career or just one of those bucket lists you wanna try it out? Uh the first thing I wanna try and make it maybe into a career. That's kinda like my dream goal of it. But you know it's the fight game though, so anything can happen, you know. So I'm just getting just trying to get ready for it in every way, shape, and form. Mm -hmm. What's the perfect ideal for you on this upcoming fight? You know, I know you're probably gonna know you're gonna get a grappler. How do you see this fight turns out the way you wanted it? Striking, 
you know, stuff his tick down, keep it on the feet, or it's gonna be out grappling? Uh, we can do anything, honestly. I'm, I'm comfortable with uh, staying on the feet, and I'm comfortable going to the ground. So, wherever he really wants to take it, we can do it. It's gonna be good. Gonna, I wanna put on a show. I want people to actually wanna watch me fight. So, that's all I gotta say. Have you ever been to our event before? Yes, I have. I went to one uh, last year in uh, March. I believe it was, uh, oh, like, uh, number three? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we helped out um, Alexis uh, Bautista. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's right, that's right. Is he one of your boys? Yeah, yeah, we're still in contact here and there. I haven't talked to him for like um, a minute, you know. I, I think after that fight, is, is he still training? Yeah, he's just like, I think he just finished, he just barely finished up school. So now he's gonna, like, from, like from the last time I talked to him, he said he's gonna start getting back, like, into the training and just get back into fighting to start, like, you know, getting back into everything, you know. That's pretty awesome. Now, um, what nationalities are you applying? I'm a mutt, to be honest. I'm like a mix of everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My uh, my grand, my not my grandpa. My my dad's uh, half Nicaraguan. He's half black. My mom's uh, half native and she's half Mexican. Oh, uh, you got really mixed up. Yeah. <laughs> now, in San Francisco, you know, it's a very diverse city. Yeah. Got exactly. a lot of mix mix right here. Now, um, if people want to get a hold of you to come buy tickets, watching you fight, how can people contact you? Yeah, uh, the only social media I have right now is Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is Master Scarecrow. Just no, like no, <laughs> no spaces, no cap, just Master Scarecrow. Master S Scarecrow. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. That's pretty awesome. Now, do you have any special loved ones, training partner, teammate, coaches that uh, sponsor or that you want to shout out to? Yeah, shout out to Braga Neto. Shout out to Junior Killer. Shout out to Basilio. The Jama, Gustavo, Jameson, all those guys have been like helping me like go the extra mile just to get ready for this debut. And honestly, like I can't wait for it. Is Braganeto back? Braganeto, uh, he's up in Brazil right now. Oh, he's up in Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. spoke to him like uh, not too long ago. I see, I see. That's pretty awesome. You know, I I, I think I know Braga is like ten years ago when, when AB were first started. Um, I actually met Braganeto a few times and. Uh, and I haven't heard from him, you know. I didn't know he actually back to the state, you know. Yeah, he actually left uh, like last year. He was supposed to come back uh, February, but you know, stuff happens. Right, right, yeah. right. That's pretty awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to having this this young man making his MMA debut. Now, if your opponent watching this interview, what do you have to say to him? Hey, let's put on a show and let's see what happens. <laughs> let's see what happens. You think you're gonna win? That's the goal. That's the goal. How are you gonna win? And anyway, as long as I want to try and get a finish, you know, try, you know, you never know, you know, fighting is an anomaly, I like to say, because anything can happen. You know? How do you think you're going to handle the, the crowd, the lights? How do you think you're going to handle all that? Honestly, fight, it's, it's... honestly, I don't think the, anything like that, like, is going to, like, phase me when I'm, like, it, finally in the cage. When I see the, like, see the opponent, that's what you got to worry about. Everyone else is not in there with you. Yeah. So it's just a matter of just staying focused. Time to time, I see um, some debuts. Actually, the first fight when the crowd was screaming, the lights on. Sometimes people froze up. And yeah. I, I see the, a couple of the fighters that making a debut, and then after three months later, when they fought again, it's like a completely different person. And they always said, "Man, first fight, I was a little choking with all this crowd and light and." You know, and uh, my body froze up, so it's kind of interesting. You know, let's see how you're gonna perform. Yeah, you know we'll, what I mean. We'll see. So uh, now, any last word you want to say to anyone out there, your friends and family, anybody? Hey, thank you guys for supporting me. Love my family. Love my friends. A little bit too many of you to name. I feel bad if I don't mention any of y'all, but y'all know who you are. Making sure you guys get it, get a him, get a ticket, come support him. He will be selling tickets to bring the crowd into the stadium. Make sure all your families come support you, you know. And uh, for more information about this upcoming event, check out M uh, DragonHouseMMA.com. And uh, this event's live stream pay-per-view nationwide. So if you cannot make it to the event, making sure you guys order your pay-per-view voucher from DragonHouseMMA.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me some love and support. And uh, follow me on Instagram. And um, I'll see you guys November 11 at Keysar Pavilion. And um, I'm Joe Lowe signing out. And any last words to say, Kwan? Well, can't wait till, can't wait till the day. Not oh, November 11th. Signing out.